Hello and welcome to the Sand to Pearls stock market commentary for the market week ending Friday, March 29th, 2013. Beginning with market breadth, with this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio fell from 2.31 to 2.19, still in strongly bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 2% to 2,428. The count of bearish stocks increased 5%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased less than 1%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now 14 consecutive weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Excel data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking on the Membership tab, and then clicking Sign Up. For those who wish it, there is available a two-week free trial subscription. You might want to check that out. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, fell 27 points for the 13th decline in 27 weeks. At a positive 545.59 points, it remains below the recent February 2013 top, yet above the November 2010 top, the January 2011 top, the November 2011 top, the September 2012 top, the November 2011 top, the July 2012 top, the June 2010 bottom, the March 2011 bottom, the June 2011 bottom, the August 2011 bottom, the December 2011 bottom, the March 2012 bottom, and the November 2012 bottom, and below the February 2012 top. The market gauge volume analysis was not available this week. Momentum. From our zero line reject long signal at Friday 322 close, the CCI 20 continued upward for the week and is now above 100. We will continue to follow the results of this trade simulation in next week's commentary. Great to find those entry points. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend seven weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend two weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly now has 13 weeks above zero and began a Woody's uptrend six weeks ago. At 104.33, it continues outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal. So there's still some waiting that needs to be done for a trade there. Industry rotation the last two weeks, all of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five industries are negative. Bullish, internet has left the bottom five. Gold and silver has left the top five. Bearish, disk drives, networkers, brokers, and banks have entered the bottom five. Oil services has left the bottom five. Focus this week was the confiscation of depositors' funds in Cyprus banks, a unique event or a harbinger of things to come. Ellen Brown, author of Web of Debt, has some telling information in her article this week, It Can Happen Here, The Bank Confiscation Scheme for U.S. and U.K. Depositors. Something very important of which to be aware. Keep an eye on that, as we will. Thank you for joining us for this week's Sand to Pearls Market Commentary, and happy trading.